I've always wanted to become an astronaut. I was drawn to the rocket fuel competition because it gave me an opportunity to go to space. It's good to sit here as a winner. I explained to my girlfriend that this was going ahead. Yeah, she was she was surprised, but I think she will she will support me in, in doing that. Nope, I do not want him to go in the slightest. Petrified, I'm petrified. I think that would be the right answer. My palms are sweating. All I want from life is no regrets. I don't want to be there at the end thinking, I wish I'd have done that. I think that would have been my, my failing moment. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, my name's Ben Jarvis. I, well, from time to time, build rockets for a living. Obviously, with building rockets, it is rocket science, so you, you've got to get things bang on in terms of dimensions and everything. Obviously, we've done a lot of planning in terms of the sizes of all the parts so that everything fits together. Uh, sizing of the fins, again, was absolutely critical. Once we've pressed the button and this thing takes off, we've got no control over it, so we're reliant entirely on the calculations that we've done, making sure the fins are straight are big enough, um, and that's all that's going to be keeping this thing flying up into the sky rather than crashing into the ground. The rocket's got four composite fins on, uh, which basically keep it pointing straight. Works just like a, any other fin-guided rocket. We've done a lot of these in the past, nothing quite this big, but um, it's got a more than enough fin area in order to sort of keep it stable, so um, yeah. And then basically the back section here is where all the fuel is held it's going to deliver about two tonnes of thrust uh, on launch, so uh, more than enough to lift the rocket. It's going to go pretty quickly. We, we estimate it's going to do at least, probably heading for half the speed of sound in a matter of a couple of seconds. I've built a lot of rockets, but I've never had the desire to actually really ride on one of them. Yeah, it's going to take a pretty uh, special kind of person to, to want to actually sit in one of these rockets. Hello. I'm Ben. I'm Steve. <laughs> I'm <laughs> nice to finally meet you. So, this is the rocket. How high are we going? Um, about 350,000 feet. That is technically just over the boundary of space. How fast are we going to be travelling? And... When the rocket engine is shut down, it should be doing just short of twice the speed of sound, so about 1,200, 1,300 miles an hour. So, fairly quick. Basically, the entire booster is, is made up of, of solid rocket engines, which we got from a uh, military subcontractor who mainly, mainly make missile engines. So, yeah. Does it, does it raise eyebrows with you doing something like this? Yeah, for, uh, it's for unusual. They're not, they're not used to someone phoning up and saying, yeah, we're, going, we're putting someone into space from a field. Is, is there, you know, I think the nerves are kicking in and no one's here, no one's here to, to support me, they don't, they don't feel it's the right thing to do, I think, you know, it's easier for them to be at home. Angela's still trying to come to terms with it, but I think she'd be bored if I didn't do this sort of stuff, I think it keeps her on her toes and I don't think I'd be myself if, if I didn't do it. All the bolts are in, aren't they, Chris? Yeah. What bolts? I think my greatest fear is death. 
but I can kind of come to terms with it if you're doing it for the right reasons. I remember there just there being a loud bang, and uh, I guess I guess things started to get a little bit disorientated, and I just it happened. That part happened so quickly, and then it was just bang. Clearly, what happened wasn't what we planned. Obviously, we put a lot of safety precautions in place to try and keep Steve alive but uh, there's so many one in a thousand chances that can happen when you're launching a large rocket that uh, the odds are that one of them's going to get you. We're obviously going to try this again. You don't stop just because something goes wrong. We are going to build a bigger, more powerful rocket with more thrust and we are going to get Steve into space. <laughs> 